welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Linnean. If you're new here, hi, thanks for stopping by, checking out my channel. My channel, it's all about crochet, a little bit about knitting, a lot about yarn, and my journey in this fabulous yarny community. Returning subscribers, thanks so much for coming and spending a little bit of your time with me. I really do appreciate it. If you could hit the thumbs up button or maybe the subscribe button, that would be great. Um, today is yarn haul part one. Um, I, the last couple weeks, I kind of did a little bit of damage to my credit card and my yarn budget. Um, today I'm going to show you what I picked up, um, from Joann's, what I got from Little Knits, what I was able to grab from Judy, from Judy's Creations and Crochet when she was doing a de-stashing and some stuff that I got from Timu. So let's start with Judy. Uh, Judy was doing one of her videos and she was showing some yarn that she had. She's like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It's awful. She did not like working with it. I thought it was beautiful. She's like, somebody wants this, let me know. Otherwise, she was ready to throw it away. And I'm like, don't throw it away, I'll take it. This is some Barocco Liliana. It's 81% nylon, oh no, 81% linen, 19% nylon for 140 yards. I have three. She sent me two that are still hanged and one that was balled up. Actually, it was caked up, but it was falling apart, so I balled it up. I love these colors. Look at that. The aqua and the teal and the red and the yellow and the gray. Oh, it's so beautiful. Anyway, she was like, she hates this, and I can get that. It's a little on the wiry side, Um but I got to tell you, the more I mess around with it, the softer it's getting. I think, um, I think this could turn out to be something really pretty. I don't think I can do a wearable with this. I don't even think it'll make a very nice shawl. My idea is, is to pair this with something else and make a market bag with as much nylon as in this. There's 90% nylon in this. I think that will add the extra strength that a bag will work out and it won't be stretchy. So you'll be able to put stuff in it and it won't stretch it out. So that is what I think I'm going to make with these is a beautiful market bag. I'm going to hold it with something else. Um, I've got some of this yellow. I've got red. I think I even have some beige that I could put with it so that the color really pops. So that is what I'm planning on doing this is to make a market bag of some sort. Um, I looked at some, I don't want to necessarily do granny squares, although I really like, and I made one uh, last year. Remember when Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches had those bags that had the um, three big giant granny squares? I really like that. Um, I like the idea of the tulip bag that I did. I think that would be pretty with that. Um, there are a lot of really cool bag ideas out there. Maybe I'll try something I haven't done yet. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But I think that's where I'm leaning with that linen yarn. So also while we were there uh, shopping her stash, um, she sent me this really nice box and a really nice note. She also threw in one of her um, cake socks so that you can put the cake in there so it doesn't flop around. And these adorable buttons. Oh my God, wait till you see these buttons, you guys. They're little birds in all of these different colors. Look at that one, isn't that adorable? I love these. The little shape of them are, it's just adorable. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I love these with everything I am. They are so adorable. I can't wait to find a project to put these on. So cute. She also threw in the box. Sorry, my camera died. 
So anyway, when she was talking about this linen yarn, she was doing her de-stashing and I didn't get a chance to get in on it last time she did it. So she said, I've got some that I've already decided that are going to be in my de-stash. Do you want to take a look? That way she can combine the shipping. I'm like, heck yeah, let me see what you got. So I picked out these three and the two light blue, this light blue and this variegated, they don't have tags with them, but they are super soft. I'm assuming that they're some version of a merino nylon blend because I think that's what she said. She didn't, she was getting rid of, rid of some of her new merino nylon blends, but I thought these two together, this little sky blue with this variegated would make a beautiful project. And then there's this. This is Cascade Yarns. And I'm assuming each one of these is about 100 grams. But this, isn't this beautiful? This country French blue. I have to find something to pair with this. This is absolutely beautiful. I love it. These are soft and squishy. I don't think I can put these together. I just, these are just the wrong shade of blue to go with this. Uh, me, no, I really don't think they could go together, but I love this. I have got to find the right something to put with this one. Ooh, do I have something up here? Ooh, as I kill my stuff. What do I have up here that I could put with this? Nah, that ain't gonna work. I don't know, I'll have to go through here and see what I've got. That's an idea. Remember, Judy was talking about the sock set uh, shawl that she had the pattern for, where you use the main color and then the mini for the trim. This is a possibility for that pattern. Hmm. What do we want with something a little different? Eh. Nah. Well, there goes that. I don't know. I think that would work with the gray. What is this one's actually called? Uh, Winter Solstice. That could possibly work. I don't know. We'll figure something out. These are definitely going to be Oh, these are so soft. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what brand these are because there's no tags with them. This one is Cascade Yarns. She did leave that tag in there. I've never used Cascade Yarns before. I've never owned it. So I'm excited to see how this works up. It looks like it's a really nicely spun yarn. So I'm excited for that. So that is my selection from Judy's Creations in Crochet. Also, the next one is my Timu order. They, you know, you're on their list and I get their flash deals, their lightning deals, blah, 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 constantly. I'm about this close from to deleting it because I get inundated with stuff from them. Although, <laughs> this little guy came from Timu and he was like $2. I mean, how cute is he? Anyway, um, I got... A notification that remember when I bought this yarn that's supposed to be uh cashmere I paid like I don't know seven or eight dollars well they were selling it for like four something less than five dollars so I got some more I got two of the steel gray and two country blue so now, and these are 50% cashmere, 40% fine wool, 10% angora, 50 gram hanks. And it's definitely like lace weight. It is super, super fine. Super, super fine. So I might have to hold two together to be able to work with it. I'm going to try without, but we'll see. 
but oh you guys this is so so soft and I'm gonna put it together with all of here's the dark gray that I have I have another one of these the skin tone I'm putting these all together even I think I might even pop this one in here because this lagoon color I think is just enough of a pop to make it interesting I oh it's so and if even if it's really not angora and cashmere I don't care this is so soft it is called the the yarn brand is Swan Lake uh, it is made in China hand wash I'm assuming lay flat to dry. Oh, I just, when I saw the ad pop up, I'm like, I, honey, I'm making another Timu order because I cannot pass this up. This color is just, huh. I'm really leaning towards the blues lately, you guys. Oh, these are so pretty. So, so pretty. I cannot wait to put these all into a project. This is going to be a wrap that I'm taking with us on our cruise for our 40th anniversary. It is going to be that special. So all of these, are, I don't know about this one anymore, but all of this will be put into this project. So that is my Timu haul. I'm going to do a swatch. I know I don't swatch, but I really want to see how it works up before I pick out what pattern. And I want something beautiful and lacy and frilly and large because I'm a fluffy girl. You know, sitting in the uh, theater, it's chilly in there. It's always windy on the top of the deck. We love to go up on the top deck and watch, you know, the ocean go by at night and look at the stars. And it's always windy and chilly up there. I don't care if it's 100 degrees outside. When you're on top of that ship, it's chilly. So that's what I'm looking to make with that. Okay, so that's Judy and Timu. Next comes Joann's. Now, you remember I made the uh, Sydney Lynn Shaw uh, using the Big Twist Vista. This color is called Tide Pool. This is one of my leftovers. I loved that yarn so much. I went back and I got some more. I got, and these are 56% cotton, 35% acrylic, 9% polyamide. This color is driftwood, and this is the number one, very marled. And this is driftwood, and it's got the brick red and the navy blue, and a kind of like a salmony orange and a taupe. It's just absolutely beautifully soft. It works up like a dream. I got four of these. I had one that I picked up in the store a while ago. So I have five total of these. So this is going to create a beautiful blurf. I have the project picked out. This is the next thing going on my hook. Then I picked up four more of these. So now I have five because I had one before. And this is the color Sea Spray. And it's blues and grays. And it's beautiful. I think Nancy at She's Got Yarn 2 is looking for this color. And if so, I will be sending some of this to her. And then using whatever's left over for something for myself or somebody in my family. And then the last one is this. This is the sage. But look at that pop of lavender in there. It's just so pretty with the different shades of like a celery green and a dark green. Oh, it's just so pretty. This for sure is going to be a summer weight cardigan. Um, and it'll probably be something that I can't wear until next summer because I'm going to do it in Tunisian crochet which means a little hook and a little, because <laughs> this is a number one. I mean, I'm probably going to be able, to, the biggest hook I'm probably going to be able to use is a five, because you always have to go up when you use um, Tunisian crochet, 
This recommends a 2.75. So, you know, going up, maybe I could, I could probably get away with a four. I'll probably go to four and a half or a five to make the cardigan. Um, I just want something long sleeve. I don't want any holes in it. This one for sure, I don't want holes in it. That's why I'm going to do it in Tunisian, probably just a Tunisian knit stitch, just a basic one, but just something soft and closed that's not super heavy weight because Tunisian will add heft to a, the garment. I think that if I use a, lar a little bit larger hook, it will be what I'm looking for. I don't want, I'm not looking for bulk. I'm just looking for a layer. And this is going to make a beautiful, beautiful cardigan. So that is my Joann's haul. I have this whole box. It's full of Big Twist Vista. And I love it. It's just, it's a, and I think it's still on sale 30% off. So it's like, five something a skein for 700 yards I don't think that's really all that bad lastly is my little knits now little knits I got a, an email from them they were doing sales and they're always doing sales and and I'm just one of the reasons I like little knits um and they had on on sale this yarn you got a bag of five and I think it was like $30, $33 a bag for five skeins. And each skein is 274 yards. Uh, 50, are these 50 gram, 50 gram hanks. This is 60 wool, 20 alpaca, and 20% silk. It says on the front, this is Marisol. Saluka Legato. It's made in Peru and it is says on here that it is luxurious, extra fine merino wool, baby alpaca, and mulberry silk blend. Oh my god, you guys, this is so soft and so squishy. And so beautiful. The color I got is called denim. And doesn't that look like a brand new pair of jeans? Never been washed. Gonna wash, turn everything blue. Because it's that dark denim. It's gorgeous. The color is beautiful. The, the spin on it is absolutely fabulous. Nice tight twist. Little bit of a halo. So, so very soft. This is going to be a pullover sweater that I picked out the pattern. I'm going to pop a picture of it right here. It's a bat wing sweater. I, this is going to be perfect. I have 10 of these. So I know I have more than enough to make the entire sweater. Oh. It's gorgeous. I love this so much. I wish there was a way you could feel this because the feel of this is just beyond compare. This is probably the nicest yarn I've ever owned. And I own a lot of yarn. <laughs> I have to say, I think this is the nicest yarn I've ever owned. I don't know if it's the silk or the alpaca or what, but oh, it is soft. And this, this will be my birthday project. I think I'll start this project in September um, so that I have it for the fall and winter here in Florida. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, speaking of Florida, hello. Happy first day of summer. It's 71 degrees and raining here in Florida. Can you believe that? It's ridiculous. Anyway, so all right. This is the last of my purchase. So I do have 10 of these and I am excited. I know ex I'll, 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 the name of the pattern and the picture will be here. So that's what I'm going to make. Uh, before you ask, what am I wearing? I am wearing my um, Ren Tank by Cactus and Lace Designs. 
Um, I love this thing. I, it's one of my favorites to throw on and just be comfortable. It's big, it's soft. I made it with uh, Bambootiful. So nice, so easy, so comfortable to wear. Well, someday soon I'm going to make another one of these. Um, this one is a little large. I made the 2X thinking I needed the extra room. I think I'm going to go down to the extra large um, to see if that does it. Because this is okay. I like my things roomy, but sometimes you don't want to look like you're wearing a box or a bag. So I'm going to try the next size down and see if it makes a big difference. But otherwise, I love this. I love this tank top. I love this yarn. Um, it's very soft and very squishy. So with that, you guys, I'm going to let you go. Part two will come on Friday. That will have a Mary Maxim, a Hirschner's, and a local yarn shop haul from my vacation. Um, so I'm excited to show you all of that. So I will leave you with that. Um, whatever you do, always be kind to everyone, and we'll talk to y'all soon.